what's up guys so today i'm going to be doing the makeup collection of a 16 year old um this video has been requested in the past and i kind of just haven't thought to do it and now i'm doing it because i've gotten some more items throughout the years and now i have like a pretty decent makeup collection i don't know I like it just you know I'm not trying to brag I've gotten these items through like Christmas my birthday and then when I had a job I would buy makeup so that's that if you do enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and hit the notification bell so you know every time that I post and let's get into it okay so first I'm gonna start off with what is on my vanity so this is just an overview. So first I'm going to start off with this plant. This is, I don't even know, I think it's like a cactus plant or something. My grandma gave it to me. Thank you, grandma. I love it. I think it's so cute. And I'm surprised it's still alive because like, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Oh, I still want to put this in the next spot. Okay. Then I have like these barrettes and stuff. That was like when I was trying to be all cute. And then I started wearing leggings and a sweatshirt to school every day. But I think I'm going to stop that now. I don't know. I haven't decided. And then I have this makeup brush pad. It's supposed to like clean your brushes. I can't really tell if it works or not. But And then I have this hand sanitizer. It's like a foam hand sanitizer. It's so cool. Toasted vanilla chai. It smells great. It's from Bath and Body Works. And then in this jar, I have my overflow of chapsticks. I just have like Vaseline, these EOS, the Rose Salve. I definitely have like every chapstick you can think of. And Carmex, of course. They don't really fit in here, all of them, but I try. Sorry if I keep sniffling. I was just having like a mental breakdown so just don't mind that and i didn't feel like wiping off my mirror just for this video so sorry about that okay then i have my eyeshadow brushes for the most part so i have like drugstore that's like wet and wild crease brush some random ones from like five below or something the eyebrow concealer brush this one's actually pretty nice. It's a Real Techniques, like, fluffy brush. And then I have, like, this little highlighter one I don't use. And then next to that, I have my face brushes. And I have this fan brush, which I know James Charles does not approve, but I'm sorry. And then I have this, like, face Real Techniques brush, this powder Real Techniques brush, and then a blush Real Techniques brush right in there. Sorry, they're all like stuck in there very precisely, so. And then I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I don't really use this or like any eyeshadow really. That fell out, that fell out. And that's like a $50 palette. So, don't waste your money. But I mean, it's a cute eyeshadow palette, but like, I don't know about that. Me and my dad made this vanity. We like, well, not this. This I thrifted and I trashed it. But it's really cool. That's like the light to turn it on. It's dope. I have the Kylie lipstick with the liner. I like the red the best, definitely. This I bought when I had a job. And I have the Better Than Sex Mascara, the birthday edition. I got it with my birthday money last year. Um, Probably worst $20 I've ever spent. It's so hyped up and I really don't like it that much. The L'Oreal Lash Sensational is a pretty good dupe. And I'd say it's better than this. And the Born This Way concealer, I got it at TJ Maxx. I think it's actually a really good concealer, to be honest. And then I have this Maybelline concealer. That one's pretty good. I have this Too Faced lipstick. I don't use that. I don't really use lipstick. This awful colored um, Fenty Beauty 
lipstick. It's like really ugly pink. I don't even use lipstick, so. And then I have this Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's the mini one. I got it with my free birthday gift. Then I have a mini better than sex. These are like 12 bucks. So if you want to get that one, I would suggest getting this one just to see if you like it. And I didn't like this. And I was like, oh, maybe the bigger size will be different. It's not. It's not good. The Boxum one, I also bought my own money. don't remember when. That one I got when I had a job, I think. And it's pretty good, I think. I know I had the full size, tried my friend's full size, and it was pretty good. Then I have the Tarte Full C's. I don't think I liked that one or the They're Real, but I've heard other people like them, so I don't really know. Then I have the Venti Gloss, which I really like. I think it's really pretty if you like glosses. Really expensive. Got it for Christmas. And then I have this eyelash curler i need to get a new one it's from forever 21 it's not that good this brow pomade because i keep trying to do my brows with those and i don't know how to do brows in general so that's not really helping me this blush from when i used to do competition cheer and then this tart blush that i got on the 21 days of beauty this anastasia blush palette my brother got it for me for Christmas, I think, last year. And that they have, they have those at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Then over here, I have all, these aren't even all my Freeman's masks, but these face masks from the brand Freeman's. I love these face masks and I swear by them. I have the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I do not use that unless I'm like out of moisturizer which hazel toner because it was on sale and i had money and then i like it but i don't really use toner and then the mario Vescu facial spray i think this one was on sale too yeah i got both of these at the same time and yeah i really like it i mean it's really hydrating because my face my face has been so dry lately guys it's been so dry and it's so not like my skin but it's because i was using a lot of products on it when my face broke out so not the best idea and now it's like getting back to normal because i remembered how to treat dry skin you have to put like oils and crap on it so that's fun and then i have nail polishes and nail clipper this pumpkin cupcake candle which smells very good and then in here this is like my overflow and it's kind of like makeup i don't really use okay so you can't see me but you're gonna be able to see the products so don't worry this is like my overflow of brushes so i have this eco tools one that my friend maddie got me for my birthday you guys can see that in my birthday haul and then I have this Morphe brush that I don't like, but I've heard good things about it. It's the M44 face brush. And then these two go along with this. It was a brush set. And then I have this face brush from Bare Minerals. I got this at like TJ Maxx or something. I don't like it. This I got when I had a job. I feel like I have to verify all this stuff so you guys don't think I'm a brat. Hee <laughs> hee. And then I have this fan brush. I mean, this one's pretty good, but I think the Morphe one's better. And then this is for like concealer or foundation or something. And it's pretty good. I think Real Techniques brushes are my favorite. And then Eco Tools and like Morphe. This disgusting blush I should probably throw away. Also from when I did comp cheer. Then I have these silicone blenders. This I got from my grandma for my birthday. This we got at like Walmart or something. Don't remember when or why. And this like extra sponge in case mine gets bad or something. I have this lip scrub that I really like. It's bubblegum flavored. It's from Lush. 
I actually suggest this. I like it a lot. And then this blush. I think my friend got it in like an Ipsy bag or something. Oh, and it just broke everywhere and on me. Then I have the Airspun powder, which I actually really liked, but now it has some like really bad powder in it. So I'm going to throw that away actually. Okay, now I'm going to move on to like my old foundations. I have this Makeup Revolution like cream makeup stick. These I actually really liked. I think they're pretty good. And then I have this Revlon Photo Finish Insta Filter Foundation. And this one I like also. I have a bunch of different shade ranges because sometimes I like to be orange and sometimes I like to not be orange. Today I chose to be orange. You can't even tell, but like my actual skin tone is so light. But it's cool. We love fake queen. But this one I bought with my own money. I've repurchased that a couple times now. Then the Maybelline BB cream. This is good for like light coverage. This is supposed to be like the world's most full coverage foundation. I think I liked it. I don't know if I still like it. And I have like leftover mascaras that I don't really use. I have the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. The Pumped Up Colossal by Maybelline. And then the CoverGirl Lash Volume. This one's really good. And then I think I liked this one a lot. I don't remember one of these. They're decent. And then I have the e.l.f. brow pencil. These are really good and they're like $2. They run out easily, but so does every other eyebrow pencil. This like random eyebrow gel that's kind of awful. Lash adhesive because I wear eyelashes all the time. That's sarcasm. I don't wear eyelashes like ever. And then I have this Wet n Wild like it's a primer and setting spray and it's actually pretty good there's not like a lot of product in it but it's good. this baby skin and support eraser i didn't really love this but i've heard other people liked it this mattifying pore minimizing primer i think it's gonna be really good but i can't tell because right now my skin is really dry so i can't use it usually my skin is like beyond oily so i bought that and then my skin got really dry so it's an experience I'm having. And then I got this mini Kat Von D setting powder. Um, can't really tell if I like it. It's really small. Like, unnecessarily small. And then I have these, like, cotton pads to put on, like, witch hazel or something. Toner. Then I have a bunch of just, like, kind of crappy lipsticks. Some of them I like. I just don't really wear lipstick. I have all these... Um, this is the ColourPop one, I think. I like that one the best, I'm pretty sure. This e.l.f. one isn't that bad. This Broadway Colors one isn't that bad. And then... Oh, I liked this mascara. I think it's like Maybelline or something, but the thing came off. This is a Kylie liner and Dirty Peach. I actually liked this one a lot. And then, is there anything else? All the other ones are pretty awful, so I'm not gonna really show you, because that doesn't make sense. This elf one is pretty for fall though. And then I have like a bunch of crap that's like unnecessary. I have a mini clinic to take the day off, some aquaphor, fake lashes this is what this drawer looks like so i have like eyeshadows and then i have like skincare so my first shadow palette is this ColourPop one ColourPop actually makes like amazing eyeshadow palettes not gonna lie like they're really good highly recommend they're so cheap you can get them at ulta or online this tart one I took from my mom, don't know if she knows that I have it, it's really good actually, and she got it like really cheap for Mother's Day or something. This Anastasia Glow Kit, the Sugar Glow Kit, it's 
so pretty. This is like the only highlight I use or have. And I got that with like birthday or Christmas money. I think I got it on Christmas actually a couple years ago. This Morphe palette that my friend Kirsten got me in like seventh or eighth grade for like Christmas. Super cute, really nice. I want to try out more Morphe palettes because this one's so good. But I just don't buy eyeshadow palettes because I don't really do eyeshadow. And then my Modern Renaissance, which was like legendary on YouTube. And it's really pretty. As you can tell, I mainly used that color. But yeah, there's some pretty pinks and like oranges and stuff really neutral and then the two sparkly colors i think it's a little overrated but it's pretty i liked it when i got it then i have like my beauty stuff my favorite skincare is definitely the freeman stuff and mario badescu but definitely freeman's over mario badescu to be honest okay next i have this face repair cream it's just a moisturizer by first aid beauty first aid beauty is really good i think this was a travel size like 12 bucks and then i have this to apply face mask and this to apply face mask this by perfectly posh this is like my mom's thing that she likes and i have it and then i have this bossia pink face mask i got this at like tj maxx and i think it's pretty cute i don't really i don't know if it does the job or not really and then i have this glitter charcoal mask this one i think i don't know it hurts to take off so i'm guessing it does it well but i can't really tell it's cute if you want to take pictures or something i just don't know if it works that well you can do that like tj maxx marshall's or even Walmart. And then I have this rose face mask from the same brand and a gold face mask. They're pretty good for hydrating, which I've been eating lately and I use them and it worked really well. But yeah. So that's the end of my makeup collection. Now to the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for every time I post. Leave in the comments a uh, makeup product that you want to buy. Personally, I want to try the Born This Way foundation because I've never tried that. But yeah, peace out guys.